Hi, welcome to my channel. Let's get the value of X. I would like you to watch to the end because this is not an easy job. Okay, now let's do it together. The first thing we need to do is to divide through by 9 to the power of X in order to simplify this equation. Okay, so divided by 9 to the power of X, divided by 9 to the power of X, divided by 9 to the power of X. Okay, so when we do that, we are going to have 1 plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. Sorry, divided by 9 to the power of x. This is divided by 9 to the power of x. Now, recall that a over the, to the power of x divided by b to the power of x can be written as a divided by b, everything raised to the power of x. So we are going to apply that here. So when we do that, we'll have 1 plus 15 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 over 9 to the power of x. All right. Now, we have 1 plus. This and this, they have this a common factor, right, which is 3. So when 3 divides 15, we have 5. And when 3 divides 9, we have 3. So we have this to the power of x is equal to, now here we have 25 is same thing as 5 squared, y9 is same thing as 3 squared, raised to the power of x. Please subscribe to the channel if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. So at this point, um, we are going to bring these two out. Let's bring it out. So we have 1 plus 5 over 3 to the power of x, right? Okay, is equal to 5 over 3, everything squared, then raised to the power of x. Now, look at what we have. Record that a to the power of m raised to the power of n can also be written as a to the power of n raised to the power of m, okay? So that is why I'm going to write that this is 1 plus 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 5 over 3 to the power of x squared. Okay? Now, um, let's 5 over 3 to the power of x be equal to y. Yes, since we have the same thing here and here. This will enable us to form a quadratic equation. But trust me, after solving the quadratic equation, the main thing, the most interesting aspect of this particular video is where we had to bring this in in order to find the value of x. Yes. Okay. Now, the, since we say let this be equal to y, now let's replace or substitute. So we are going to have 1 plus y, right? is equal to y squared. We have simplified it. Now we have quadratic equation. Let's do what? Let's arrange it properly. So to arrange it properly, your y squared comes first. So this will transfer to become minus y. Why this will transfer to become minus one is equal to zero. Hope you have subscribed. Mm -hmm. Have you? All right, now this is what we have here. So we are going to use the quadratic equation formula to solve for the value of our y. Then substitute it back to this to get the value of our x. Okay? So now we have that y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So here our a is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, which is minus 1. As C is the constant, which is minus 1. Now, let's write the quadratic equation formula, which states that this y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a, okay? So, we have that y is equal to minus b, that is minus minus 1, which is 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is minus 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 
times minus 1, which will give us minus 4, right? Now, minus minus will give us plus. So, this becomes plus 4. Divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. So, that implies that our y is equal to, okay, this place is small. Oh, it's okay. Y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, this is where I want you to start paying attention because this is where it actually gets more interesting, okay? Recall, I upload two videos daily. So, whatever you are doing, anytime you have the space or the chance, please click on the channel, come to my page and see what I uploaded, okay? Thank you. Now, this is what we have. From here, we have two values of y. The first value is that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now, the second value is that y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Okay, so, but recall, we have to recall that what? 5 over 3 to the power of x. 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to y. So that means you are going to replace this with this to solve for x because that is what we are asked to find. Permit me to clean this side of the board in order to do that, okay? So if I should do that, I will have, okay, this is our y. So this is what we have here, the one we want to solve. That y1 is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, since y is equal to 5 over 3 to the power of x, so we are going to write 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, when you look at this, notice that the only savior we have is to introduce our log reading, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to have log 5 over 3 raised to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. All right. I can now clean this. I don't think I need them anymore. Except for the second value of my y. Okay? So I'll leave that. Now, this is what we have. Now, I want us to recall our logarithmic of um, this thing. Uh, log, our logarithmic law, the laws of log reading, that states that log a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a. Okay, so we are going to do that here. So we have x multiplied by log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2, all right? Now, we are looking for the value of x, so let's divide through by log 5 over 3. So we are going to have that x, x log 5 over 3 divided by log 5 over 3 is equal to what? Log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 5 over 3. Now, log 5 over 3, we divide itself. So we have that x is equal to. Now, I want us to recall. Recall that log a divided by log b. Once they are in the same base, right, can be written as, I just want to leave my y2. Okay, can be written as log A base B. Okay, so this becomes the base. Therefore, therefore, oh, I have cleaned it, but I know it's the opposite of this one. Okay, therefore, we have that X is equal to what? Log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay base 5 over 3. Now, this is the first value of our x. Yes. So, this becomes the first value of our x. Now, for the second value, for the second value, we are going to use the same method. All right? Now, recall that our y in that second value 
our y is equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. That is our y. But note that when we solve this, we are going to get negative value. Okay? When we solve this, we are going to get negative value. So if we say that our x2 is log 1 minus root 5 over 2 base 5 over 3, there is no such thing because you cannot find logarithm of a negative answer. So that brings us to the conclusion that this is what the only value of our x. Thank you so much for, walking, uh, for watching and have a lovely day.